Scholars talk about John the Baptist and Jesus being apocalyptic. They, they believe that there is a coming apocalypse. For John the Baptist, the idea of repentance is intimately linked with the idea of the coming apocalypse. You need to repent precisely because the end of the world is coming. Apocalypse is actually a Greek word. It's a word that means a revealing or an unveiling. For a first century Jew, the apocalypse meant cataclysmic events of cosmic significance. It meant stars falling from the sky, political and military upheaval, and ultimately the end of the world as you currently know it. Jews at the time of Jesus would have been familiar with the concept of the apocalypse. But John the Baptist's message was radically different. Even though the biblical prophets talk about the day of judgment as something that's going to come in the future, most people wouldn't have thought it was around the corner. So by comparison, John the Baptist looked very radical. He was preaching the imminent destruction of the world. Most Jews didn't agree with his message, but some did. And Jesus was one of them. Repent! Repent! The Lord blesses you for the kingdom of heaven is at hand! Repent! The first recorded words of Jesus are in Mark chapter 1, verse 15, where Jesus says, The time has been fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the good news. Those are words that John the Baptist could have spoken. So to an extent, what galvanizes Jesus is the message of John the Baptist. He's attracted to that, and he's sold on the idea of repentance and the coming apocalypse. And then there was someone like John the Baptist, who's a radical in the sense that he's preaching the end of the world and the impending coming of the kingdom. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. John wasn't the only Jewish preacher hoping that God would bring about an apocalyptic change. Between 1947 and 1956, fragments of almost 1,000 Jewish texts were uncovered at the ancient site of Qumran. Known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, they included holy texts believed by historians to have belonged to a Jewish apocalyptic sect called the Essenes. Today, the scrolls are housed in the Shrine of the Book at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. One of the reasons the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls was so significant is because this is a group of writings by Jews living at about the time of Jesus and at about the same place as Jesus, with a message that in many ways is very similar to the message of Jesus and of John the Baptist. Qumran is close to the shores of the Dead Sea, in what would have been ancient Judea, around 20 miles from Ein Karem, the birthplace of John the Baptist. Could John have been an Essene himself? Could Jesus? Jesus' baptism shows him choosing to take on John's apocalyptic message, and it triggered a moment of radical transformation. In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, after the meeting between Jesus and John the Baptist, Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights fasting in the wilderness of the Judean desert. In Jewish theology, the wilderness had a very symbolic significance. It was associated with key prophets like Elijah and Elisha. It was the place that the people wandered during their time in, after the Exodus. And so it has this particular significance as a place where religious spirituality is crystallized and forged. It's a place of introspection, and it's a place of divine revelation. This way. Then the eyes of those that will not see will not be closed. In order to take care of any possibility of rebellion, uh, Herod took care of John the Baptist by having him executed, and the theory would be then that he wouldn't be able to incite any uprising against Herod. And their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Oh, woe unto them! Woe unto them! When John the Baptist dies, this means that Jesus is the only one talking about the impending end of the world and the importance of repentance and changing your life in anticipation of that event. Now it would be left to Jesus to carry the apocalyptic message forward.